Like many people who own a ANET A8, you have the heat bag connector which burns up and uh, fries your plastic connector here and then overheats this connector and then you get a thermal runaway error and in the middle of your print it stops. The problem, the design flaw with these connectors are this little piece of metal is the only thing that is really touching it. If this gets loose then it's not going to push this connector up against this and it's just barely enough tension in there to keep it on there. And this connector is very loose, so that uh, is not a really good connection. So you don't have a lot of surface area making a connection and have a couple amps running through there to your heat bed. About the only thing that kept that clip on there was this little plastic connector that uh, holds the, uh, the wiring in there, which I cut apart to get the wires out. I found that these little disconnect plugs that you can buy at Lowe's or Home Depot work great because they fit perfectly on these two connectors. These two connectors are the same connector and these two connectors are the same connectors for the heat bed. And these two inner connectors are for the thermocouple. You can uh, slip this on there. It fits these two connectors perfectly. You just have to insulate it with some uh, heat shrink. But here's the package of these connectors. It comes mixed with uh, the receptacles and then the spade connectors. But you only need the receptacles. But for these clips on the thermocouple, these little uh, clips inside here might be a little loose. So you just try to try take a pair of needle nose pliers or something like that and Try to adjust these clips so they uh, put a little more tension on there. There we go. It's a lot tighter than it was. We'll have to put some insulation on these. What I did with these plugs initially was heated these up and put some solder on here just to ensure that it was a, a good electrical connection, not just on there with the crimp. Find some heat shrink that fits over that and uh, shrink it up. So I'm going to do this last plug that I have and I'm going to cut these old crappy connectors off. Try to cut it as close to the connector as you can to save wire. Take a pair of wire strippers and uh, strip a bit off the end. Then tin the end of the wire So you have a little bit of solder in the, on the end of the, your wire and the uh, strands of the wire are soldered together. Let this wire cool completely because you're going to have to put some heat shrink on there. You m will need to probably stretch the end of the heat shrink out a little bit just to fit it over the end of the uh, bullet connector. Just take a pair of uh, cutters and stretch it out. And what I do, I take a pair of alligator clips and just clip it on to the insulation to keep the insulation out of the way. And put your uh, connector on there. Make sure you can see the wire right here. Now take your crimpers and crimp that couple times just to get a good connection. You can cut this blue insulation off. I don't keep it on there. Mm -hmm. 
Now I will put a dab of solder on here to ensure that the uh, connector has a good electrical connection. The problem with the old connectors is they have a good mechanical connection to the wire, but the electrical connection to the pins aren't all that good. And it results in uh, resistance, and resistance equals heat. Just put a dab of solder on there and let it flow into the wires and let that cool and make sure your heat shrink is nowhere near the heated end. You don't want your heat shrink shrinking down before you're ready to push it onto the end of the uh, connector. Once everything's cool to the touch, then you can push your heat shrink insulation over the end of your connector. So I have my bed heating up to uh, about 90 degrees Celsius. Completely cool to the touch, unlike the other plug which would uh, heat up like crazy. This is how you can fix your ANET A8 heat bed problem without having to permanently solder the wires onto it because that can get kind of messy. You're moving these pins and everything like that. Just put these uh, plugs on there.